So now we've got the makings of a nice little portfolio page with a welcome message, contact me button, a couple of videos laid out in alternate formats, and some thumbnails below. I'd like to customize some of the CSS, so I'm going to start my own custom style sheet that pulls in bootstrap styles and then adds my own after. Let's go to our files. I've got them collapsed for now, but you'll remember that our main style sheet right now is really only Bootstrap's CSS. I want to pull that in, but then add my own. So I'm going to create a new file and then get this rolling. I'm going to create my file using my text editor here and go ahead and go over and just create that right there. You can create yours in whatever method works best for you. I'm just going to call this style.css and I'm going to open up with a new comment. I'm going to say my custom style sheet and then I'm going to start a new comment that's going to say first pull in bootstraps style sheet. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to import everything through this style sheet. So let's go ahead and import that bootstrap style sheet here. Import URL and then you'll remember our file is located behind assets CSS and then bootstrap CSS. So assets CSS bootstrap CSS Later, of course, we can go in and use the minified version, but for now we'll just use the commented version so we can refer to it more easily. And then I'm going to say, now my custom styles. So we will inherit bootstrap styles first and then tweak those using our own styles. Now before we can make use of this, of course, we need to go update our link in the HTML file. So we'll need to do that now. I'm going to go back up to the top the head section of portfolio.html. I'm going to change this styles link from asset CSS bootstrap to simply styles.css. And that styles singular is the way I've named it. Now let me test to make sure the connection's there. So I'm going to go to my my new style sheet and I'm going to do something crazy like say body background yellow. Let's see what that does. Save Go to my page, refresh. There, I've made the connection. It's good to know, but let's back out of that yellow. So I'm going to simply remove that. So let's look at what we really want to do. Going back to my page, refreshing to get rid of the yellow. Now scanning down, we need more space between these rows. The first row looks fine. Second row, this is too cramped. And then our media grid is not too bad. That can live with it, but the space between and before actually the media grid. So we've got this div class row that if we add some padding to that we'll put some nice vertical spacing between these elements. So let's um, work on that. This is class row and I'm simply going to do padding. I'm going to do 20 pixels top and bottom and 0 left and right. Just to add that on top of our other styles. Let's see what that does for us. Save, refresh, and see that's much better. So now we've got nice padding up above, between, and then a decent amount of padding below. Now let's add a nice little heading in here before our media grid. Go back. Right before that media grid, I'll do an H2 heading and say other projects. Refresh. And there we go. We've got this off to a good start, ready for more, some more customization. Let me do one more step of customization with you and then clean up a couple of odds and ends and call this a tutorial. So um, one of the things that would be nice would be to take away this blue hover effect from around the borders. So let's fire up Firebug. I'm going to see what we need to select here to do that. All right, so there is the media grid A hover. And if you look closely at that, you can see that it's got a border color of that blue. And so if we select that selector and change that border color, that'll help a lot. So I'm going to, this is class media grid A hover. 
and we're going to give it a border color of just a light gray, DDD. Save that, go and refresh, clear away firebug while I'm at it. There we go. Now on hover we get the box shadow but we don't have that bright blue hover. That's great. So from here you're free to customize the rest of this the way that you want. You've got your own custom style sheet that we've got underway and we've got our file structure all set up so it's easy to keep organized and keep it maintained and we can build new pages easily now based on portfolio.html to keep building out the site. We'll be back soon with another installment of this tutorial. I hope you enjoy this one. Thanks a lot.